disposal and recycling, community conscious, environmentally friendly. We do that. In today's business world, environmental policy is a key issue. Rogue Disposal and Recycling has chosen to look at these environmental laws as minimum standards to be embraced, practiced with conscience, and ultimately exceeded. Starting out with three men and one truck in 1938, for over 70 years, Rogue Disposal and Recycling has been at Southern Oregon's curb. We've evolved into a fully comprehensive community service, integrating the collection, recycling, disposal, and reuse of waste. And more recently, the creation of energy. You know the basics. Black lids for solid waste matter, red lids for commingled recyclables, green lids for organic yard debris, but there's so much more. From storage containers to special equipment for customized pickups and hazardous waste disposal events, we have the flexibility and the customer service to meet the specific needs of all members of the community, from the largest corporation to any single individual. We've reduced traffic congestion by building a new road to the landfill, have constructed a new biodiesel fuel station, and implemented a track-out wheel wash system to lower particulate emissions. Rogue disposal and recycling exceeds regulations in the small details and in the large. In 2006, we became the first private company to participate in the Congestion Mitigation and Air Quality Improvement Program. And we were recognized in 2007 by the Department of Environmental Quality for our leadership in upgrading diesel engines with advanced pollution controls, which cut truck emissions in half. One of our most recent efforts in maintaining our commitment to recycling is online bill pay. This not only offers a time-saving convenience to our customers, but reduces the amount of paper in the recycling stream. Established in 1999, the Rogue Transfer and Recycling Station receives over 60 million pounds of recyclables each year. The station accepts many different types of items, including corrugated cardboard, newsprint, mixed waste paper, plastic containers, tin, motor oil, batteries, phone books, magazines, and electronic waste. In addition, fluorescent tubes, tires, and appliances can be recycled for a nominal fee. Yard debris was added in 2001 and currently feeds our composting facility, Oak Leaf Enterprises. Acting as a nexus point for the distribution of recyclables to reclamation partners across the Northwest, the transfer station also processes an average of 300 tons of solid waste per day, which is then transferred to the Dry Creek Landfill. Additionally, the 80,000 square foot main building acts as a reception point for e-waste, rogue materials recovery, and the Rogue Shred Confidential Document Destruction Program. Serviced by a fleet of collection trucks, the Public Recycling Depot, one of Oregon's largest public recycling drop-off centers, offers covered spaces for a full range of recyclable materials. E-waste is a relatively new development in the recycling world, but one that's bound to grow exponentially as the electronic devices which aid and entertain us near the end of their useful life and are perpetually replaced by the next generation. Under Oregon's Electronics Recycling Statute, the Rogue Transfer Station is an approved drop-off center for outdated computers and electronic devices. Financed by electronics manufacturers and jointly implemented with the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality, consumers can recycle computers, monitors, televisions, hard drives, keyboards, mice, speakers, printers, scanners, and other types of electronics, including cell phones and stereos. Rogue Disposal and Recycling's partnership with ECS Regenesis guarantees environmentally safe and comprehensive recycling of all such products. Plastics and metals from aluminum to copper are born anew. After their purpose has been served, some things are better left unread. With its own fleet of trucks, Rogue Shred has the capacity to service commercial and residential properties alike. Bins of variable size based on needs are delivered to the location, collected by our drivers. Documents are destroyed on site. 
Materials are then taken to Rogue Materials Recovery, where they are prepared for recycling. Weekly schedules or custom one-time purge programs are available. When an on-site pickup is scheduled, the customer is always provided with a Certificate of Destruction, certified by the National Association of Information Destruction. In an era of credit card fraud and identity theft, the need for privacy is paramount, and Rogue Shred can provide that peace of mind. Of course, for transfer station customers, Rogue Shred invites you to bring your own material to the transfer station facility to be destroyed. The material will be locked in secure containers and shredded each afternoon. One of the largest landfills in Southern Oregon, Dry Creek Landfill, was opened in 1972 and is a self-contained facility. Waste is placed into highly compacted interlinked cells, each cell being lined with a composite of a 60 mil thick high density polyethylene HDPE liner material, a geosynthetic low permeability soil liner, a 40 mil thick HDPE liner, and finally a second 60 mil thick HDPE liner. Any contaminated water that reaches the liner system is transferred to a leachate collection system, which removes it from the landfill for disposal at the wastewater treatment plant. This comprehensive engineered design exceeds the environmental standards of the US EPA. As it stands now, Dry Creek receives approximately 900 tons of material a day, and with a 50 million ton capacity, ensures local capacity while providing a regional solution to waste disposal. If the influx of material continued to increase at a rate proportional to population growth, the site could maintain viability for well over its projected life of 75 years, while staying within its designated 300-acre footprint. On September 28, 2007, Rogue Disposal and Recycling held a building dedication and ribbon cutting ceremony at the Dry Creek Landfill. The occasion? Its gas to energy plant came online. This facility is only the third to have been built in Oregon and is the first in over 10 years. How does it work? Landfill gas, which is 50% methane, is collected via an integrated network of vacuum wells, which have been set into the landfill from which the gas is transferred to a centralized point where it is cleaned and dewatered before it is burned in two 20-cylinder internal combustion engines. Burning 1,080 cubic feet of landfill gas a minute and creating 3.2 megawatts 24-7, the gas to energy facility provides enough power to service 3,000 households every year, the equivalent of 20,000 tons of coal. And as time passes, the energy producing potential increases. This energy generated is sold to Pacific Corp. The gas to energy facility also creates green tags now each green tag is equal to 1,000 kilowatt hours of fossil fuel energy, which Rogue Disposal sells to the Bonneville Environmental Foundation for marketing to utility customers. The proceeds of which are used to fund projects such as a 400 megawatt wind farm in Washington, tidal and wave energy research on the Oregon coast, and solar projects near Klamath. In the final estimation, each green tag prevents the release of 1,000 pounds of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. U.S. Senator Ron Wyden observes that this is exactly what we need to green up our energy portfolio in Oregon. This green business venture was made possible using tax credits created from a 2005 energy bill. Yard debris can make up 20% of an individual's waste profile. Our program processes a variety of organic waste materials. Grass clippings, leaves, plant prunings, brush and woody material. Every two weeks, Rogue Disposal and Recycling collects containers and delivers the contents to our transfer station, where it is ground up before being moved to Oak Leaf Enterprises, located near Dry Creek Landfill where it is formed into windrows. In order to ensure the eradication of all pathogens and weed seeds, the material is regularly turned over, maintaining an internal temperature between 140 degrees and 150 degrees Fahrenheit for at least the first two weeks. Over the next 10 to 12 months, the compost undergoes a curing process and is turned completely at least three times. The end result is a nutrient-rich, certified all-organic compost just one of six in Oregon which has been approved by the Organic Material Review Institute. 
and has been awarded the U.S. Compost Seal of Testing Assurance, making it an excellent resource for the growing industry of organic farming, gardens, lawns, or your flower bed. Rogue Disposal and Recycling will continue to protect the public health and welfare of our community, to set the standard for environmental policy. From the curbs of our homes and our businesses, we'll strive to create clean air, clean water, and clean energy for everyone. As you look out over Southern Oregon's wealth of beauty and natural resources, understand that you have a company working for you, acting as steward and trust holder. We do that. Every day. Every week. Every year. For your families, your businesses, for you. Rogue Disposal and Recycling. Community conscious. Environmentally friendly. For today. And all of our tomorrows.